In this video, we're starting section 2.2 on set operations. Our goals are to draw Venn diagrams to represent sets visually. We'll define the intersection, union, complement, and the difference of two sets. We'll talk about how we can recognize and prove common set identities, and how we can prove one set is a subset of another, or that two sets are equal to each other. Okay, so in this video, I want to focus on Venn diagrams and what the intersection and the union of sets are. So let's start off with Venn diagrams. You've likely seen these before in previous classes, but let's do a review here. We can represent sets with a Venn diagram using circles and ellipses that lie inside of some universal set. So I can think of my set as maybe a circle, or I could make it an ellipse, and I'll call it S. And this lives within some larger universal set, which I'll represent with a rectangle, and I'll label it U for my universal set. So let's do an example. Let's let U be the set that consists of the integers 1, 2, 3, up until 10. A is this set that has 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. B is the set that has 2, 3, 5, and 8 in it. I want to draw these sets using a Venn diagram and label their elements. Okay, so I have some universal set, so I'm going to draw a rectangle to denote that, a universal set. Within that universal set, I have this set A, which I'll denote with this circle. So the elements that are inside of it, well, I see 1, I see 3, I see 5, I see 7, and I see 9. So that is my set A. I'm going to label that. That is A. We also have this set B, but I notice that B has a couple of elements that are common to the two sets. Like B has the element 3 and 5, and 3 and 5 are in A as well. So when I draw a circle for B, let's make it overlap A so that it also contains the 3 and the 5. So this will be the B. So B also has the elements 2 and 8 inside of it, but those are not part of A. Okay. And then there's some integers that are in the universal set that aren't in A or B. So let me label these. Things like there's 4, and there's 6, and there's 10. And I think we have all of them. All right. All right, so we're ready to talk about intersection and union. So if A and B are sets, the intersection of A and B, and the way I denote this is we write A... I put this kind of upside down U shape, and then B. The intersection, the way I denote it is like this, is the set of all elements that are in both A and B. So it's got to be in both of them to be in the intersection. Okay, so let's do an example. Using the A and the B that we had before, the intersection is a set that consists of just the elements that are common to both. And in my example, that's just the 3 and the 5. Those are the only elements that are in both of them. Nice. Okay, so we have something called the union. The union of A and B, which we write as A, and kind of like a U, but without the tail, U, and then B, that's the symbol for union, is the set of all elements that are in A or B. So union represents the word or, and intersection represents the word and. So, okay, the things that are in the union are anything that's in A or anything that's in B. All of them, we put them together, and that's there in the union. So, one's in there, two's in there, three's in there. Anything that's in either one of these circles is in the union. Uh, what else? There's five. There is seven, eight, as well as nine. And those make up the union. Okay. Visually, we can describe the intersection and union as thinking of two circles for my sets A and B within my universal set, U, this rectangle, the intersection, the, st the stuff that's in both of them, is just the overlap. So the intersection is the overlap right here. And the union is anything that's in A or anything that's in B or anything the overlap. The union would be everything in either one of the circles, the whole thing gets shaded, and that's my union. Let me end this video with a quick definition, which says that if our two sets, if their intersection happens to be empty, so if there is no overlap, then the sets are called disjoint. And the picture of that would be my A circle and B circle have no overlap, and then it's within the universal rectangle.